It's 2019 and there's been a whole slew of new lower cost options in the 3D printer market. And this once bleeding edge 3D printer for the cost now looks long in the tooth. And you know, I could have gone out and bought uh, one of the newer, cheaper 3D printers that uh, is more modern and continue to do the upgrade process. But I decided, you know what, I've had a lot of fun learning 3D printing through upgrading this to try my best to take this and be something better. And here it is. Well, all the parts for a new 3D printer. This is going to be a multi-part video series where I go through taking my original duplicator i3, uh, all these parts, uh, following along a guide from a guy on GitHub called Omnum Nomad. Is that what it is? Omnum Nomagon. Uh, and show you the process because he actually put together a fantastic documentation. All his files are on GitHub and Thingiverse, but it's quite complicated. Uh, and I had to use a little bit of prep work to make it happen. So follow along and we'll build this, what he calls the redu reduplicator together. All right. So um, I'll have links in the description for GitHub as well as Thingiverse, but really everything that you need is on GitHub. Uh, so again, omnomnomagon, uh, as GitHub handle, uh, had a, has a fantastic wiki. And I tried to follow that and said, oh, this will be super easy. But I decided to print out all the wiki. Um, lots and lots of dead tree here. Uh, but it's been super handy to figure out what uh, items I need to buy, what I need to print, and keeping track of, of everything. Um, so we'll be using this as sort of the map through the course of this, this video series. Um, the other thing that I did was print, uh, print out everything and label them in these nice, with these nice little baggies with the correct um, section that it correlates to. So for example, get a little bit closer to the camera, um, section six is the x-axis gantry uh, and all the components for section six is neatly labeled uh, and, and bagged. And that it includes both the 3D printing elements as well as any, uh, any hardware I need for that section. So let's find a good one. Uh, oh yeah, I try to do as much prep work as I can and had some of the metal plates and screws in that bag um, because there's a lot of components. Speaking of components, uh, there is a bomb, a bill of materials in the wiki uh, for a lot of the hardware, but there's parts missing uh, and I'll, I'll tell you what's, what's what, um, as well as uh, things that are optional. I have a spreadsheet that tracks some of the printing process as well as uh, one, of the, one of the most important steps that we'll be uh, showing later, which is taking metal inserts and inserting into 3D printed parts. No, oh, 3D printed parts. Good, good, good topic. Uh, I made two different classes of 3D printed parts. Things that move, where weight matters. I used 40% infill uh, and four walls. And for everything else, I did 50% infill and four walls. In his guide, he said use 40 to 60% infill. And I probably should have done everything 40% because if you look over here, where my secret stash of filament is. I use nearly a kilogram of filament to make this thing work. Um, but uh, all in all, uh, it was totally, uh, totally doable with, with a brand new spool. PTG from Matter Hackers, um, in a vibrant yellow. This whole thing was inspired uh, by trying to take a low cost duplicator three and make it like a Prusa Mark III. And if you're familiar with Prusa's Mark III 3D printers, you know they're in this bright, uh, almost annoying orange, uh, which, is, which is cool. But I thought to be different, uh, I made everything in yellow. Uh, so I'm actually calling my 3D printer the uh, Bumblebee, um, just to kind of pay homage to the color. Uh, let's see what else. Um, got new fans. I got all the actual um, structural components, as well as brackets, like suggested by um, num, num again. By the end of this video, I'm, I'm sure I'll get it. Uh, from Misumi, um, the Japanese uh, manufacturer. So it's really, really nice uh, machined and anodized metal and some of the brackets. Uh, and I think that's it for now. I uh, hope you enjoyed this brief overview of the reduplicator slash bumblebee. 
and uh, I look forward to seeing you in the future. Cheers.